Ooh, didn't see that coming. Ooh. Using the tactics of chess to help move throughout life, Cedar's chess group approaches the game differently. Cedar Shoals economics teacher Robert Chapman offers his room after school for students who want to play chess, listen to financial podcasts, or do homework. So besides PSP, where students can come and get their work done, we also offer chess and we offer um, financial literacy. Chess is a game that um, you can use in life. Think before you move, but also being able to plan three or four moves ahead. Likewise with financial literacy, you need to be able to do the same thing. You need to be able to put yourself in a position to be ahead of the game. Uh, right now we are in one of the craziest times in our economy, but if students can get a, a knowledge of that before something drastic happens, they'll know how to prepare and they'll know how to be uh, able to take advantage of these situations. I learned about Cedar's chess group when I was in fourth period this year. So me and my friend were talking about chess because we had a, it was either a quiz or a test. And me and my friend Ethan, you're like, hey, can we bring a chess board to play after we've both finished? Because she's really strict about like being quiet or silent after you finish, just to make sure other people have the opportunity to finish without getting distracted. So she was like, hey, I didn't know y'all played chess. She told me about Mr. Chapman and how he was considering making a chess club after school. So I was like, wow, it's kind of cool. I might go check it out. Chess and Community is a nonprofit organization founded by Lemuel, otherwise known as Life LaRoche, that uses chess skills to help kids avoid systemic traps that may lead to incarceration. Located in Athens, Georgia, Chess and Community uses chess to teach students to be patient and think before they move in life. I met Life when I first moved to Athens five years ago. He and uh, Bridget Flanagan were the first uh, two, two men that uh, I met when I first moved to Athens. And once they told me what their program was about, I knew my boys were going to be a part of it. Well, I played two competitive tournaments at the Chess and Community Center for the Hillsman chess team and we won both times I was playing. I think it's great that they would uh, unite young chess players and bring us all together in an enjoyable atmosphere and play some competitive games. I mean, we're looking to build a team. If, they, if those guys want to play, then we'll definitely build a team and, and they're great players. So if we were to build a team, I, I'm pretty sure that they would do well. So I plan on competing in every tournament available. That would be very cool. I heard we will have a tournament planned against Oconee, so I definitely plan on playing, against, playing that one. I think when students start, they're confused. How pieces move and how things, um, how you're supposed to protect pieces, things like that, the value of a piece. But to find a student that catches on real quick, like I have a, a, a young man from my um, advisement class, Alexander, he's a super smart kid and it just surprised me the way that he uh, caught on so fast and he was able to beat a couple of people that I didn't think he would be able to beat, but he did. I think chess has taught me to think before you act, which is a very common motto among chess, but it's definitely true. I would definitely say that patience is a big part of both chess and life. It definitely comes in handy in all aspects of life. Like, I know a lot of people, from what I've heard, a lot of successful people say that patience is the key to success because you can't accomplish a lot in one year, but you can accomplish a lot in maybe 10, 20 years. It's the same with chess. You have to be patient. You have to plan your strategies and wait for them to actually go into play. I think it, it opens your eyes to, okay, hey, I am super smart. I am able to uh, accomplish the goals that I set for myself. I'm able to think ahead. I'm able to see the plans that I have for my life and be able to plan them out and actually be successful in accomplishing those goals. So yeah, I definitely think winning at chess allows you to win at life. Chapman's chess group is planning for their first competition to be against Oconee's chess team, and all interested students are invited to learn to play chess after school in room B208. This has been Melanie Frick for WJG-TV.